Hello friends, welcome back to DigiTalk. And in this session, I am going to explain you the concept of dynamic cluster along with the execution. Okay, so let us talk about the traditional way of creating a cluster. So when we configure a domain, we create a cluster and then we create the different managed servers and then we assign the managed server to the cluster, right? And in case of, uh, in case any time load get increased in the future, so what we do is we create few more managed servers manually and then we assign it to the cluster, right? So it's a complete manual process. So when we talk about the dynamic cluster, so this is a cloud ready solution. So what is the meaning of cloud ready solution is that we have to pay only for the duration we are going to utilize the resources. Okay, for example, if I am creating a virtual machines on the cloud and I will bring it up for the two hours in a day only. So I have to pay for the resources only for the two hours and for rest of the 22 hours, I not have to pay anything because I am not utilizing the resources. Okay, so dynamic cluster is also work based on the same concept along with a lot of features where we don't need to create the managed servers manually. So when we create a cluster, it automatically create the managed servers for you based on the count that we specified in the properties. Okay, so for example, when we are creating a dynamic cluster and we are specifying the, uh, the count as two, so it will create the two managed server for us. So we don't need to create the managed servers manually. Along with that, it will create a server template for you, which will be applicable for all of the managed servers in the cluster. That means the properties or the configurations that we will do in the template, it will be applicable for all of the managed servers. So tomorrow, if you are going to increase the number of count in the server, so same template will be applicable for all of your managed servers. So you don't need to worry about what was the configuration of previous servers and what is the configuration of our new servers and how you can compare and make it equal. Okay, so this is a big problem or challenge in a traditional cluster when we increase the capacity of the cluster in future, when we add few more managed servers, then we have to review the complete end-to-end -end configuration of existing managed servers so that we can configure the same num same uh, configurations in the, for the new server as, a, as well, which we are going to add in the cluster. So dynamic cluster, we don't need to take care about that one because it uses a single template for all of the managed servers. Even we don't need to create the managed servers manually. We just need to specify the count and based on the count, it will automatically reduce the number of managed servers at any time or it can increase the number of managed servers at any time just based on the count that we have specified in the properties. Okay, so how it works, why we are saying it is a cloud ready solution is that if suppose that I have a uh, virtual machines on the cloud and uh, my anticipated load uh, uh, during the day is only for two hours. Okay, so what I will do for that particular two hours, if I need a demand, I need a four managed servers, so I will uh, enable my cluster with number of count four so that during that period it will create the uh, four managed servers and for rest of the day what I will do I will reduce the number of count so it will automatically reduce the number of servers so if I will reduce the number of servers in my cluster that means my resource utilization will also going to be down in terms of CPU cores and then memory etc right so I have to pay less amount for that one Okay, so this is how the dynamic cluster works. Okay, and let us begin with the configuration of uh, the dynamic cluster. So what we will do first, we will see the configurations of our current domain. So we have a domain with only one admin server. We don't have any template and we don't have any, any cluster as of now. Right. So what we will do, we will first create our dynamic cluster. Okay, and for this complete exercise, the concept that I have discussed, it is explained in detail in this lab document of DigiTalk. Okay, and along with that, a lot of different explanations are given in detail. Okay, and if you need this lab document, then you can uh, write us on digitalk.fmw.gmail.com. We will send you the details. Okay, you can, how you can buy it. along with the other 32 plus lab documents and along with the web logic handbook of 50, 50 plus pages okay so let me uh, go to the first step which is how to create a dynamic cluster so for that let us go back and click on lock and edit and then click on new and then dynamic cluster right and here you have to specify a name for your dynamic 
cluster okay so let me see so d y n a m i c dynamic cluster okay this is the name for my dynamic cluster and then we have to specify the messaging mode okay so this messaging mode is used by the managed servers in the cluster for the intercommunications okay so all the managed servers in cluster talk to each other for that they use some method which is unicast and multicast so unicast is the preferred one and if you select the multicast for any reasons okay you have to specify the multicast address and multicast port and you have to make sure this port and address is available on your network okay so i'm going with the unicast which is a preferred one let's click on next and this is the important configuration dynamic cluster size what is the number of servers that you need in your cluster initially okay so if i will give that number of sizes 2 so when my server is created my dynamic cluster is created it will automatically create two managed server for you and max dynamic cluster size is the maximum number of capacity that i am anticipating in my cluster in the future as well okay or you can say near future okay so if you want to increase this then you can increase it anytime okay but as of now what i am uh, anticipating is that two servers are sufficient for me as of now if i need to increase at any time during the load that would go maximum up to eight number of managed servers right so this is the prefix for your managed server which is automatically taken <coughs> based on your cluster name so i will make it as dynamic server right so this prefix will be added to each and every managed server which will be created automatically for you click on next okay now how the machines are going to be assigned to your managed servers okay because when we create the domain in traditional way then we assign the machine to each and every managed servers right manually now when we're saying that we don't need to create the managed servers manually when we create the dynamic cluster so how machines are going to be assigned so for that uh, the first option option is use any machine configured in this domain okay so suppose that we have given the two number of managed server as of now so this server is going to create two managed server for us so if we have two machines in the domain so it will automatically assign the machine to each and every managed server in the round robin session that means first machine will be assigned to first managed server and second machine will be assigned to second managed server okay if you are going to create three managed server then again third managed server will be assigned to the node manager or your machine one and if you are going to have four managed server the fourth will be assigned to machine two okay so this is in the round robin fashion if you wanted to use a single machine for all dynamic servers which is specifically used when we have a vertical cluster where if we have all managed servers running on the same machine then you can go with this one and the third option is you have to use a subnet of subset of machines in the domain okay so if you wanted to assign the machine based on your choice okay then you can select this option and then you can assign the name of the machines along with the certain kind of expressions okay in the order here okay if suppose that you want to assign uh, the machine two machines to your two managed servers then i can give the name of my machine suppose the name of machine is first machine one then i will give comma and then machine two so the first managed server will be assigned to machine one and second managed server will be assigned to which is similar to this one but this is more than that okay it work on the base on uh, work be based on the expressions as well okay i can specify here like this one as well okay a machine too and for that you have to learn a bit more on this option okay but hardly this um, uh, it like this this particular option is used so most of the time what we do is we go with the use this machine configuration in the domain any machine in the domain okay so click on next and then how the ports are going to be assigned so when we configure the managed servers manually then we assign the port manually to each and every managed server so when i'm saying that uh, that it will automatically create servers for you that means it will it will automatically assign the ports as well to each and every managed server right so for that one if we are assigning base listen port as 7100 then the first managed server will be assigned a port of plus one in this one so that means first managed server will be given a port of 7101 similarly for second managed server the port will be plus two that means 7102 and for other managed servers are in the same subsequent order and the same concept will be for the ssl port and if you are going to enable the administration port as well okay and if you wanted to assign the fixed ports okay then you can select the second option okay now click on next so now you review, review the all the configurations here whatever we have given so far and then click on finish okay so now you can see that one dynamic cluster is created okay but as of now the server is blank right because we have not activated the changes so let me activate the changes and we'll see it again okay now you can see that 
two servers assigned to this dynamic cluster if i go to the cluster tab now you can see that two dynamic servers are automatically created for you dynamic server 1 and dynamic server 2 okay and if you click on the server name okay here you can say this page provides general runtime information about the server nothing is there because of my servers are down as of now okay it's not showing any properties there and if i click on server template you can see that one server template is created right so this server template is applicable for all of your managed servers that you have created in the domain okay so that means whatever the configuration changes that we are going to do here okay that will applicable for all of the servers in the cluster okay for example if i will click on this one if i will change the uh, any of the parameter here okay so this parameter will be applicable for your all of the managed server in the cluster right so similarly if tomorrow i am going to increase the some number of server count in my cluster so this template will be applicable and the same parameters or configurations will be applicable for all of the managed servers okay so this is how we can configure a dynamic cluster and let me show you the further uh, validation how we can do the validation for this one okay when we are saying that we are going to increase or decrease the number of count okay so this completely explained in this uh, guide in detail if you would like to understand it properly okay with few more concepts then you can buy this document okay now let us let me show you the validation of the dynamic cluster okay so now as of now we have a two servers in the cluster right and suppose that tomorrow i want to have a three managed servers in my cluster so what i will do i will click on the cluster this is my cluster okay and then i will click on the cluster servers tab click on lock and edit so this is the configuration that we have given initially dynamic server size is three so two so let me make it three okay and let me save it and let me activate the changes okay so it is saying settings updated successfully okay all changes have been activated and no restarts are necessary so let me click on server now you can see that one more server is automatically added for you what we have done is we have only given the count as three right and suppose that suppose tomorrow your load is getting increased and if you are suspecting that no i need the number of managed servers four okay so the what i will do i will just go here lock and edit i will change the number of servers four and i will save it and i will activate the changes right and then again i will go back to my server tab and let me show you now now you can see we have a four managed servers in the cluster okay so that means the managed servers are automatically getting created for you you are just updating the count of the number of servers that you need in your domain right and let me go back to my cluster and let me reduce it okay so we have increased the two number of servers so far let me click on servers and let me again go back and do the count as two and let me save it and activate my changes okay and now if i will go back to my servers tab after the activation now you can see that now again we have only two managed servers in the cluster so that means it dynamically automatically creating the cluster automatically reducing the number of servers in the cluster so how you can utilize this one you can utilize if your machine is on the cloud and if as i said if you need the number of servers suppose three or four during certain period like between 12 to 2 pm okay so you can write a script or you can do some scheduling with the existing features okay where you can uh, uh, tell the web logic to increase the number of servers by two okay so that means with the help of a scripts what you can do is you can change the number of count okay that is completely possible okay and what we'll do in that case we'll increase the number of count from 2 to 4 between 12 to 2 pm and after 2 pm again we will reduce this count from 4 to 2 so our resource utilization will again down and we will not have to pay any charge for that one right and this complete concept along with the screenshot and testing and then the screenshot everything is mentioned in this document okay so this is how dynamic cluster works thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video